Hi, I'm Matt Jones, assistant head pro at Del Mar Surf and Turf Tennis Club here in Southern California. Today we're going to show you a new way to improve your game when using Sony's smart tennis sensor together with your racket. Hey, hey buddy. Hey. Ready to work on that forehand slice? Yeah. The goal for today is I want the bottom edge of that racket to really lead through that ball and hold that ball on the strings as long as possible, okay? Right. Let's do it. All right, here we go, forehand slice. Don't take the racket so far back. Shift the body weight forward. Good. A little bit lower with the legs. Let that bottom edge lead. Two more. Last one. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look. Let's slow motion this first one. Racket face right there. A little bit too exposed. Minus six. I believe that we can get to a minus seven. Let's see what this next one looks like. Taking that racket face back behind. Minus five. So right there, that, that racket face is looking too neutral. Let's get that bottom to really lead. We're going to get a little bit lower with the legs. Press through that ball as if we're sliding on a table. And I believe we can get a minus seven. All right? Let's go do it. Well done. Minus eight. Minus eight, good job. Shifting in, bottom lip lead. Minus nine, well done. Minus eight. Minus nine. Way to lead with that bottom edge. Minus eight, well done. All right, let's see if we met our goal of a minus seven. See if we're loading our legs. Minus eight, you exceeded the goal. See how much lower your legs are? See how that racket face is fully exposed, almost facing up to the sky. So what it's allowing you to do is keep that ball longer on the strings, another minus eight. Well done.